We're back. We're going to talk a little bit more about AI. So I think I think the people who are benefiting most from AI at the moment in, in a business context is is probably still to be decided. I think short term executives seeing cost cutting measures is definitely obviously one one thing. Um, I think good good developers and good uh, white collar workers seeing themselves be able to become more productive and therefore their jobs becoming more interesting. I think there's a big benefit there. I think for the young kids coming in trying to start get their first job really really hard like I think there are a few of them who who are benefiting from it and gaining from it um, but to try to get those first jobs I think is incredibly difficult at the moment um, I think if you're part of a creative department you've got a couple of challenges that are slightly unique one of which is I think the creative the implementation of creative AI is quite a way behind the implementation of technical AI. So not to say the tools aren't good, but they're not quite there enough to, to revolutionize that work, but that is for sure coming. Um, and I think also that there is a uniqueness to creativity that's harder to, harder to replace as well. Um, and I, but I also think there's maybe more resistance from creatives to using those tools in, in a workplace because of the fear of replacement as well.